Hello guys, my friends, it's Danny D again from Solicitous Comics. I've got four more comics for you today. Uh, one of them is interesting, very expensive. I'll do that one last. One of them may be controversial, but hey, that's, that's up to you. You can look at it how you want to look at it. Um, our first one, let me get to a better picture here. This one looks really cool. This is about a superhero, from what I understand from his video, is very old, and he's basically like a barbarian, but in more modern times. Uh, he does fight evil and the typical superhero stuff. This one looks kind of interesting. He's got two months left on it. He's already up to $200. His goal's only $500, which is kind of low really especially with two months to go I, I, I mean I'm hoping this guy does much more uh, it looks interesting the artwork is cool from what I understand they've already got a book out on something similar to this that ties into this comic uh, I, it's classic you know comic book art and you see him standing here on a probably a bank or something because it's got a lion on there I'm just guessing um, you know the, the superhero type thing this looks really interesting uh, this is the company uh, I do believe they have a website I think I saw it somewhere a couple of tweets could have sworn I saw there yes it is okay there's their website but this one looks neat. Uh, I think he's going to do more than one. I think this is just an introduction. Uh, his prices are fairly decent. Um, he's got, for $5, you get a PDF. Uh, for two, There's two different books. Savage Swordsman and Knight of the Swordsman. $5, you get a PDF or ten dollars for both but obviously if you buy them both by five that's anyway uh, for 15 you get a physical copy I'm assuming that's only one of them that he's doing a physical copy of though so if you want one the other I do believe you will have to get it on PDF you'll have to download it uh, for 25 you get an alternate cover uh, 35 a t-shirt and let's see what the Swordmaster tier gives you. Swordmaster tier. You get the comic, another comic, a t shirt, and it says three more items, but I don't want to click that because every time I click those things, it, my information pops up and I don't want to dox myself. All right, our next one the controversy one. Now, for those of you who are going to go, well, that's racist, that's not right, that's, that's, meh. The rebel flag is the battle flag. That's all it is. That's all it ever was. It doesn't mean anything else. It was the flag they used in battle. That was the flag that the military used. It's pretty sad that a Canadian knows that and most Americans don't. That's pathetic. But anyway, this one I really like. This one I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to pick this one up. It is about a southern superhero, obviously. Uh, the artwork I like. I like the fact that it's drawn in a perspective that it's not it's not static and flat. It doesn't look like somebody just copied and pasted buildings and stuff to do it. Uh, you know, you're looking at stuff from different angles. It, it's interesting. I really do like it. You know, like here, you can see him. He looks like he's climbing up a building. It looks like the road way down below. Kind of reminds me of some of the old cartoons I watched as a kid. Um, if you like this sort of thing, it's he's obviously dealing a lot with the South. Let's check it out. You know, he is... Here's another one. He's got a month on his. He's only looking for 500. He's got $24 left now. Um, 
or twenty-four dollars now. He's looking for five hundred. I'm hoping he does better than that. Uh, let's see what this is. I'm assuming, yes, yeah, six dollars for for the comic. I mean, that's again, that's inexpensive. Let's check with the 45 one. He jumps up high really fast. What do we get for 45? First issue, as well as read the. Uh, you get a shout out. You get issue number one. Eh. I think I just get the comic. I don't need a shout out. You know, unless it was in the comic. I don't know. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, again, classic superhero. More dealing with the southern south, which, you know, I live in Florida, so that's kind of, I kind of like that. Um, and yes, you know, you can say, oh, well, that's why you're a racist. No, I'm as northern as northern could be because I know what 50 below zero feels like. And that's Celsius, boys and girls, not Fahrenheit. Anyway, on to the next one. This one also caught my interest. I kind of like this. This is from someone from Chicago who decided to make a comic putting three things together. History, obviously a physical place, and a little horror fantasy into it. I, I really think that's an interesting combination. Uh, basically, this comic is about how Chicago has changed over time through the eyes of these things living in a cemetery. How, how's that for an interesting twist? The art looks interesting. I mean, these really look like horrible creatures. Looks like this guy's freaking out a bit. It looks like he just tried to mug one guy there. Uh, again, th th this really, really strikes me as interesting. It, Like I said, it is... The story of Chicago told through the eyes of these creatures. So he talks about the fire in Chicago. And when was it? 18? When was it? I forget when it was. But he, all that stuff. He talks about it. Uh, you know, so he mixes a little bit of real history with a little bit of fantasy and a little bit of horror. Very interesting combination. Uh, I kind of like this. This is cool like an old style commercial for something and somebody trying to sell their uh, their soap or something anyway uh, if you are interested in this one check these guys out let's see this one is in demand so he's already met his goal he is at 4630 congratulations uh, his packs are fifteen dollars for Ooh, so he's already done one. So this is a, a sequel, I guess. Is it a lazy? Yeah, issue number two. So he already has one. Hmm, be interesting to see his first one as well. But $15 for a print version. Uh, let's see what the $5 version gives you. Digital copy. Again, that's, that's decent. But I really think these guys should do these digital versions after the books. But that's just my opinion. I mean... I think that's a good idea. Is that issue one? Just for... Issue three. This is multiple books, folks. You've got issue three here for $5. Issue two for $5. Issue one in print for $5. You can basically buy his catalog here. I do believe he said he was going to do five of them. I can't remember. He says it in the video. And I'm not going to watch that while, you know, go, go to this site. You can watch his video and listen to his own words on what he says. Uh, this sounds pretty cool. I mean, shoot, you can get his first three books if you want in digital format and start reading them now. Now, this last one, it is extremely expensive, but I think you are going to get your money's worth with it. The reason I say that is this gentleman has put out a book. Let me get to the, here. It's called The Selfish Giant. 
This is a hard cover coffee book, a 12 by 17 hard cover coffee book. So it's not your, your small little tiny comic. He has taken his original prints with comments on fixes that he wanted to do uh, with all the little tiny nuances of, you know, if he put his coffee cup on it and he spilled the coffee stain on it, you see the coffee stain. He did not manipulate the artwork whatsoever. It is all in black and white. I will scroll down here and you can see what some of his artwork, you can tell he's, he's very heavily influenced by uh, children's um, Hans Christian Andersen stuff. Uh, I mean, this, this, is, this is pretty cool. You get all these different stories in the book. I do like his art. It's very... I don't know what his writing is like, but his art is very child-friendly, shall we say. And I, and I don't mean it in a derogatory way. I, I just... That's what I... That's the feeling I get when I see his art. Um, in the video, he describes a lot of what he does. I mean, he's got... He's got pictures of the post-it notes that he put beside to change something in the in the actual art while he was doing it which is pretty cool this is basically his history of all of his prints but not in the finished book which was sold but in his original before he sent it to the printer which is something you don't see very often um, I mean if you scroll down this one you will see that it is really really cool I mean the artwork, the 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 panels, of, you know, going from a round panel to a half round, another half round, and a square panel, and then a star panel, and I like the way he mixes this up, and then going to, you know, different long panels, short panels, it it's entertaining to the eye. That's probably a good way to state that. Uh, all right, let's go up here, and like I said, this is the more expensive one. But I really do do find his book interesting. It starts out at a hundred bucks. Like I said, that's that's pretty high. Um, he looks like he has another book also at a hundred. I do believe they are tied together. I didn't go too far into his video once I understood what uh, actually three of them at a hundred. You can get a signature series for 150. Like I said, this is a this is a coffee book. This is not your standard little tiny comic or your standard graphic novel like a lot of other people are doing. This is a coffee to it is hard cover. This is not it, like I said, it's it's a coffee book. Uh, here, right here, it's a, a 12 by 17 hard cover. Okay, so it's not your your typical your typical uh, small comic. He's only got ten days left. He's got thirty six backers. He wants a goal of twenty thousand. He is at thirteen thousand three hundred and eleven. With only ten days left, well, I hope you get it because it it is neat. Um, it, it's not something that I think I would want. If I had kids, yeah, I probably would pick this up because I think my kids might be interested in that. But like I said, check these guys out. Links will be down below. Now, to the rumor mill. The uh, two videos ago, I said that there was a rumor of someone coming out with either a role-playing game or something. Well, more rumors I have heard. Uh, last night, I was listening to a uh, chat and the gentleman who did the video game Earthworm Jim, which was really big, he's coming out with a new video game. I do believe he's going to be posting it on Indiegogo. Uh, again, rumor, so, so take this with a grain of salt. Um, if he does something like Earthworm Jim again, it should be very interesting. Um, when I hear more stuff about it, and if I catch it, I will promote it on this. As I said, I want to promote all sorts of stuff for 
people putting out good content. We need it. We need our minds to escape, shall we say. Well, guys, that's it for now. As usual, please like, post comments. If you know somebody who's got a book or something coming out, let me know down in the comments so that I can check it out and promote it for these people. Uh, links will be down in the description, and you guys have a great day.